You ready, Sassafras? Yes. Do you remember the first time we ever did this? Yeah. There was a lot of them, it was kind of gross. <laughs> There's a video on YouTube from, I don't know, it's been a couple years ago, two or three years ago. And it was when Daniel still lived here because I got a black light flashlight in the mail and we decided to test a theory that hornworms grow under black light and he and Malia and I went out and hunted hornworms for the first time ever and it worked. And now we're doing it take two. <laughs> I mean, technically it's like take a hundred because I've hunted for hornworms in the black light a lot of times now, but we just, we need to go pick the hornworms eating my plants. What do you want to put them in? Put the hornworms in? Yeah. I don't know. A bucket? Okay. Well, those are outside. You can't use my nice tongs. Those are food. Those are for food. A dishwasher. Oh no. Use the older ones. Not the new ones. I've got my hunting dog with me. And Jeremiah and his tongs. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're a hunting dog. Yeah. And you follow you around, dog. <laughs> Look at him. Are you gonna get the hornworms, baby dog? All right, into the darkness we go. So it's hard to make a video in the dark. I'm gonna do the best that we can, but we're just gonna go back there. But I wanted to tell you, I have been using the flashlight on the hornworms for the last few years. I usually just go ahead and start looking for them before I see any signs of them because you can find them when they're really, really small. Um, and then they don't get to damage your plants. Now, I actually have not checked the last couple weeks. The first time I checked this year, there weren't any. But our season has been running kind of late, but I was in the high tunnel this morning and noticed some very distinguishable signs of hornworms which is where you start seeing um, like leaves and branches stripped on your plants little sticks that's all that's left uh, there all the leaves are gone uh, you'll start seeing holes in your fruit and these little black poops on the leaves once they start being large enough to be noticeable where you're starting to see a little bit of damage in poops uh, you've got about four days at that point and then once they get big uh, they can take out an entire tomato plant in a day. So it really is best to be proactive and once you have a good black light, you can go out at night, find them when they're small and you never have to deal with issues. Hornworms will affect the nightshade family, but primarily tomatoes is the main thing I've ever really struggled with them on. But if you are having a lot of hornworms and you start noticing on eggplants and peppers that you're having like stripped leaves and branches and, and you're just seeing that there's damage, you can look for, uh, for them there too because sometimes they'll get on those it's just not as common they're hard because they blend in with the tomato plants and so if you search for them in the day you might spend a long time looking and never find them but i'll show you here in just a second because i know i've got some back there uh just how easy they are to find with a black light <laughs> malia's malia is my hornworm hunting buddy <laughs> the other kids are like no i'm good <laughs> I think it's just a thing now. It's yeah. not that either one of us enjoys it. We've just been doing it <laughs> together for years now. Now you never... used to hunt the hornworms with me before we had the black light. Yeah, that's true. And we, we would to... go out in the oh. day. Jeremiah has a flashlight. Okay, y'all ready? Oh, we need a hunting song. What do hunters sing? <laughs> no? <laughs> See, you've done a lot of hunting. <laughs> Oh, it is so loud outside at our house at night. There's so many woods around. They're full of singing things. All right, Malia, you ready to go in? Yep. Okay. This is so weird at nighttime. I oh, know, I haven't been out here when it's this dark. Same. All right. Well. I know there's one out here because I saw one earlier. There's a spider. Yeah, if you'll hold this. Hold on a second. Oh, there's another one. 
I see these guys here. The way they just kind of pop out at you. All right, there you go. There you go. Get in. Ugh. So they actually like squeeze a bunch of green goo when you squeeze them. Oh, <laughs> oh th this right here where we just picked those two off is where I saw the damage. There are probably other ones in here, but that's where I was expecting to see some. Well, I feel like the more we pick them off, um, early, the less we have. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I guess it's better to have none. The places where I saw damage is where we found them. Yeah, we'll go check the front garden. Okay, let me check this side real quick. I'm just going right there. Yep, just so many. some little guys. Oh, there's another little one. And another. Is it a little one too? It's bigger than the first one. I just felt like that little, that first little one couldn't have done that much damage by himself. Yeah. Bizzle. <laughs> he's smelling them out. I don't think he's contributed anything. Other than bear is, support. Bear is a great hunting dog. <laughs> he helps me hunt coffee every morning. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This horn one thing? No, coffee. You know exactly where it's at. <laughs> I don't think bear has to do a whole lot. There's some damage on these leaves, but yeah. I don't see anything. Easy to see. But. All right, you want to go check the front garden? Yeah. Come on, hunting dog. Let's go. <laughs> He's waiting for me. Isn't the garden so pretty at nighttime? Uh, yeah. So lovely. This is actually not weird to be out in this garden at nighttime because I actually sit out here at nighttime sometimes. The high tunnel is a little weird to be in. All right. Start here? Yeah, let's start on this end. Hey, look here. I was just showing you that tomato is almost right. Yeah. Pretty pumped. I'm glad. You can eat it if you want to. I'm pretty pumped that I don't have to eat that one. <laughs> I actually haven't seen damage up here. There was one point that I thought that I found some damage, but yeah. then I, I looked the plant all the way over and didn't find anything. Yeah, that's right, Palmas. I'll pick it tomorrow. I suppose it is better for that to be anticlimactic than for us to have found a hot mess of hornworms eating up all my tomato plants. We got five, six, six, six little guys. It's pretty good. Last year, when we, the first time we came out, we found like one. Yeah, I think that because w the first year that we did this, we found dozens and dozens and dozens. Yeah. Uh, the year before, when I didn't have a black light, I would come out and pick dozens of hornworms off regularly during the day. Um, I, I kind of wonder if having picked them early for the last few years, if the population maybe has gone down. I don't know if that is possible. I guess they could come from other people's gardens, but yeah. I mean, it would make sense that I'm keeping them from reproducing here by picking them, but I don't know. I used to have to deal with them a ton and I don't have to deal with them nearly as much now. We will feed these to our chickens and feed the tomatoes to us instead to of them. <laughs> yeah, not to you, huh? No. <laughs> you can make me some salsa. <laughs> well, short video, but fun. It's like 10.30 at night, so. <laughs> 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 so we are going to go inside here, Malia. You wanna say goodnight to everybody with us? And goodbye. And goodbye. Oh yeah, this is y'all's last time to see Malia for the summer. She's going home this weekend. Sad day. Yeah, sad. Major bummer, but we had to get our hornworm hunting in, even if we didn't find very <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. We bless you. Until next time.